Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one that's very short, sweet, and to the point. So today's video is going to be all about how I make roses with modeling clay. So you might have already seen tons of videos on YouTube on how to make these. I know there is no right or wrong way to go about it. There's no correct way to go about it. And that's a beautiful thing about art. There are different ways to go about this technique. And I just hope that this video kind of gives you like a different perspective on how to make them, or maybe you discover something you that you didn't know before and the, the whole point with my channel is that I want to really focus on using things that are around me things that are accessible to you so hopefully that gives you kind of like a different point of view and how to do the go about this technique and if you do decide to check it out don't forget to tag me on social media the links to all of that will be in the description box below hope this is helpful here is the final outcome that we came up with and I was gonna do kind of like a little um, mini canvas I was going to attach this onto a canvas and create a little mini artwork with it but then I got the idea for another project that I've been wanting to do so we're going to do that in our next video so stay tuned for that we're gonna do that then um, incorporate this into another piece of work but this is the final outcome that we came up with as you can see I even teach you how to paint uh, the rose in the end and this is the final outcome I really hope you guys enjoy it if you do don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave thank you so much for being here and if you have any questions uh, you can always drop those in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to help you out in the best way that I can and yeah hope you guys learned something new in this video thank you so much for being here hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all on my next one bye guys all right guys so to get started we're just gonna jump right into our project and we are going to open up our modeling clay that we have here and I'm just using a very affordable kind um, I find this one at Walmart and it's usually for the most part it's the one that I use I as you guys have seen in my channel I have also used the Crayola brand sometimes I just find that this one is a little bit more affordable actually I will link it below in case you want to check it out it runs for about six bucks for two pounds so I think that's a pretty good deal and it's actually the brand that I found um, the easiest to work with it's very moldable and um, of course since it comes in white you can very easily paint over it do a lot of pretty um, painting in the in your guys's final projects and as you can see as soon as you open it it comes very soft which I usually have um, trouble finding something like this with other brands so that's pretty good now we are going to just take a chunk of it so I'm grabbing about that amount right there and I'm just gonna roll it into a ball just place your hand on top and squish it we're gonna do kind of like a burger patty like that and the reason you want a little bit of depth into your um, into your shape is because of course when we are molding the shape of the rose we want to get a little bit deep with the petals and actually make it so that the rose is has like a deep bud in the center so that's what we want to do all right, so now that we have our base shape down, I'm gonna be a little bit extra, and actually I brought you a rose, an artificial rose, just to show you as reference the kind of shape that we want, and just so that I can reference when I'm talking about the shape of a rose and in molding it out in here. <laughs> this is actually left over from my wedding decorations. I found it laying around, but that's another story. So what I'm going to be using is actually the back of brushes and um, if you don't have these um, you can also use like a popsicle stick like this one. I'm going to be demonstrating kind of like how you can do it with both. I know there is a specific tool for like molding clay and stuff like that. I don't have that so I use what's around me. 
we're gonna start out and as you can see like the bigger the brush like the thicker the brush is the the bigger also the handle and therefore we can either do like um bigger shapes with this one or more intricate de detailed with these so uh, these are awesome I, i'm really glad i found these we're just gonna start out shaping the inside but so we're going to be working from the inside out and all I'm going to do is poke right in the center of our rose and start doing like what is primarily the rose bud. Okay, so we're going to poke our clay from the side and now we're going to insert like that and we're going to start moving the, uh, the pencil. I'm just going to call it tool. <laughs> You're just going to move your tool as if it were like a spiral you want to drag it a little bit and then and then start going outward like that so you want to like poke like so and then start going out Now you don't want to go entirely in a circle. Again, you want to kind of go in a spiral outward. And once you've reached like 180 degrees to the right, you want to stop there. What I usually do is place like my, my finger or another tool like that on the back. And then with the other tool, or let's use our popsicle stick in case you don't have these and start flattening out your edges like that. So just go against your, your first tool and just start flattening out these edges to create the ends of the petals. Like that, see how that kind of like made it look into the ends of the petal? So if the center kind of lost its, lost its shape a little bit, you just want to go back with another tool. What you're going to do is basically this is a petal. So you're going to go on top of this and start going in with your tool. And this, create an, this creates an overlapping of this petal with this new petal. You know what I'm saying? I really hope this makes sense. So you just want to go deep like that. And we're going to do the same technique of shaping the petal like this one. We're going to go like this and just flattening. And now that we have our new petal down, we can also flatten this guy right here. Like that. And now to add a definition into our petals, you can poke this, like the center portions, you can poke them into the clay. The more you poke through here, the more definition that you'll have to your petals. So I'm going to show you once again what I'm doing to create more definition in my petals. So you see how this petal ends right here. What we're going to do is basically continue the spiral motion out here. And now what we're going to do is go a little bit forward than where it ends and start shaping from here. Again, our mission is to create petals that are overlapping from each other. So we're basically doing the spiral motion like this in our clay. And then to create this overlapping petal, we're going a little bit forward and then coming in from here. Hopefully that makes more sense. And that's what we're doing right here. And then to create the next petal, we're done here, we're moving forward, and then coming from here. 
and then we're ending here once we're a little bit like an inch of the way through we're gonna twist it move a little bit forward to the outside poke through and mold the next petal okay so once you've gone a little bit through there you're gonna move forward and then start the next petal and just follow all and just go all the way around so you're done with this petal you're going to move a little bit forward and start the next one and now that you're going to the end you can easily work with your hand to mold those petals And if you wanna wanna create that um, overlapping effect, you can just go with your tool, slice it in half like that, slice it like so, and it'll give you overlapping petals. Now for the center petals, again, we're going to start giving this more definition. Just remember that the more you poke through the rows, the more you can lift the petals towards you. And the process for the entire thing all the way to the center is going to be the same, just poking through and pinching to pull out all of those petals in the center and do all of that, um, the intricate work that comes with the center portion of our rose. And that's pretty much everything summed up of what it takes to create a rose using modeling clay. All I'm going to do now is just go back over all of our petals and create more definition. Create all of the details that I want for my rose and call it a day with this piece. I really hope you find this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, you can leave those in the description box below. And I'll be more than happy to help you out in the best way that I can, of course. Again, everything that I used, like all of the materials, including the brushes, the clay and everything, I'm gonna include that in the description box below, just for you to reference in case you wanna use the same things that I'm using. Alright guys, and this is the final rose. I don't want to lift it up um, just because the material, again, it's very soft, which in, in, in a sense, it's the advantage of this material. It's very soft that it's very easy to mold, but the disadvantage is that you can't, it's very easy to touch and mess up. You know what I mean? So again, it's for the most part, I really love working with this material because it's very easy to manipulate and I really loved, in this case, I really love the outcome that we get where the petals kind of have like a texture in themselves. As you can see here, they kind of have a texture and they look very realistic. So now what I'm going to do is leave it as is. I'm going to leave it right here in my studio. I'm going to... Um, 
I think what I'm gonna do is like put a spatula underneath like lift it up and put it like to the side for it to air dry so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it to the side let it air dry and then come back to tomorrow and we're gonna paint it in a beautiful way we're gonna make it close to this one but I'm gonna use rose and white I'm not really gonna use those fuchsias in there so we're gonna do that we're gonna leave it off to dry really I really hope you guys love the outcome and I'll see you tomorrow all right guys so we're back and here is our dried up rose the back is a little bit moist still but um, for the most part the front part is all dried up so we are ready to give it a good paint and for that we're going to be going in with our uh, blush pink um, and our hot pink I know I, I said I wasn't going to use um, a fuchsia kind of tone but I figured why not now for brushes we're just going to use some regular old like small kind of squared brushes like these ones and this is just like a really good blending brush that I use and of course we're also going to go in with a little bit of white. All right guys, so this is our final rose. This is the final outcome. I was gonna use it for a little like mini canvas and just do like a mini piece for you guys, but I actually got the uh, got the idea for another piece um, that I wanted to do, a project that I've been wanting to do for a while now. So I'm gonna use it for that. I'm also gonna film it, so it's probably gonna come um, after this video. So it's gonna be the video that follows this one. So yeah, for today, this is all the process video and how to make or how I make my clay um, roses my roses using modeling clay so again if you have any questions or if something wasn't very clear in this video you can always drop those in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out in the best way that I can I really hope this was a helpful technique and if you do decide to try it out don't forget to tag me on social media the links to all of that will be in the description box below I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video Bye guys! <laughs>